Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again. Another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, of course, we're going to have the newest episode of Ahsoka. This is season one, episode four. Of course, we want to know the title until we get into the episode. I'm really enjoying this show. I really am. I love the fact that the first three episodes, which now after seeing this episode tonight, it will be will be halfway through the show. The first three episodes have been pretty consistent in terms of actually moving the plot forward, which is something that a lot of the Star Wars shows on Disney Plus have been kind of hit and miss in terms of progressing the story and then at a certain point deviating from it and kind of sidetracking and, you know, kind of going off course. And I was worried that episode three was going to do that because the end of episode two, we have Ahsoka Sabine now back with her and everything, and they're going to the destination they need to in terms of getting closer and closer to Thrawn and Ezra. And I was worried we were going to take a detour in episode three. We actually did not. We're actually moving the plot forward. They're on the planet. They're kind of stuck, but they're there now. And presumably, hopefully... We will maybe get a tease of Thrawn, since after this episode, it'll be halfway through the show. We'll see what happens, at least season one, because there's rumors of a season two and everything. We'll see how that pans out. But uh, I'm really enjoying the show so far. I can't wait to see what they do this episode, guys. So let's jump to it now. Season one, episode four of Ahsoka. Let's go. Can't send a distress signal, and our ship isn't going anywhere. So you're alone, basically. Said their ground base is at fault. I fear we face a difficult choice. Which is, if we can't make the journey to find Ezra, then no one should. Ooh. And I count on you. You know you can. Be careful out here. They're watching a bit. The enemy, you know. Mm-hmm. Of course. They're watching. They know. The gods would not delay them long. The music. Ooh. Don't worry about me. I'm not. Don't worry about me. Good. She should worry about should you. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. That's. It's not gonna be easy if we have to do. I don't. I don't they're not gonna do that though. Oh shit. Here we go. Look at that teamwork. Ooh. That was good. I'm not just going to sit around and do nothing, Lieutenant. Mm. Disobeying orders. Watch me. Mom, how come I have to do what I'm telling you? Should our side be going on this trip? Probably not smart. You're a general. You know, you're risking an awful lot. Hey. You know how it okay. is. Okay. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Have faith. Faith. I lost that a long time ago. Ooh. Is the title about him, Fallen Jedi, specifically about him, maybe? Ooh. Okay, so how are we going to play this? I'm sorry. If Ahsoka takes you on a oh, rematch, maybe? Going somewhere? Oh, Jesus, okay. So, a rematch. Okay, rematch. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. Just slow down. There we go. Okay, here we go. Damn it. Ah, that's not cool. Not cool. Okay, definitely another rematch for sure. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Calculating. Okay, so they are succeeding so far. Come on, Sabine. Come on. Oh, come on. We've seen this trick before. Oh, oh my god. What? Oh, sending her away? Mm, come on. Yep, we're about to see this fight. It's a, okay, we've been teasing this in the trailers. Let's go. Let's go. Mm hmm. Everyone in the order knew Anakin Skywalker. Mm hmm. Few would live to see what he became. That's true. I'm not here. 
discuss my past. Ooh, I like that answer. The only reason I'm here is to secure the future. I'm not starting a war. Then what are you doing? A thrall will. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this. We're really building this up. <laughs> I think she knows that he's protecting that pillar. Oh yeah, he's protecting that. She has to know that's important. That's the map, obviously, so she knows. Basically, right now, they're sizing each other up. Yeah, slow. Okay, now they're really getting into it now. Okay. No more waiting around. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, damn. Still taking her time on this. <laughs> yes. Damn, okay. I'm liking the variety of this fight. Oh, shit. A lot of variety of moves in this. It's really good. It's still counting down. Damn it. Damn. This is still going on, too. I forgot. Okay. Sabine, you gotta fight smarter. Damn it. Come on. Don't say that. Ooh. Caught you off guard. Damn. And she's gone. So. That was on why. Now she can't fight with two hands. Shit. She thinks that Sabine lost. She thinks that. Oh, no. Oh, go Ahsoka. Damn it. Yeah, she thinks this means dead. Sweet. Don't get distracted. Do no! He's just keep blocking. Stay back. He's, he's, like he's basically you. saying she can't do it. More than you know. I know you feel that Ezra Bridger. Shit. Damn it, that's gonna make her. Ah, oh, damn it. Mm. Your family died on Mandalore. He's because your master didn't trust you. This is bad. You and I share a common goal. Mm. No, not the same. No. Come with me. Don't tell me she's gonna do it. I give you my word. You will be reunited with your friend. You don't know that. He doesn't know this. <sighs> Sabine, come on. Is he gonna keep his word and tell her to stop? Oh, they're already here. What can you tell okay. Me? Destroying it. Yeah, try to destroy it. Come on. <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> what is going on? I didn't expect to see you so soon. Oh, shit. Oh my god! Mm, that's messed up, man. <laughs> Come on. Of course. It was heavily rumored for so long that Hayden was in the show, and he was asked about it several times, and he's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> And I was like, okay, because Dave Filoni was confirmed to direct episode 5. I'm like, if they're going to do, if we if we all assumed and theorized, because the rumor was Hayden is in the show, that since Dave Filoni's directing the first and the fifth episode, that the fifth episode is going to be Hayden Christensen, Anakin stuff. And I'm like, what if they tease it at the end of episode 4? And they do! I don't know where she is exactly. Is that the world between worlds in live action? I don't, I'm not really sure. Possibly, but that was really good. That that is the best way to tease 
next week's episode because instead of like okay so we're gonna have it to where she wakes up in this thing and we don't know what's going on they, they, they make it very clear you want to tune in next week because there is Anakin and this is something that I've mentioned on um, live streams and I've talked about it before uh, on social media and stuff that if this is true about Hayden being in the show that this is going to be the way to officially merge the gap between having Clone Wars Anakin now because of course only Clone Wars animated Anakin had Ahsoka as you know his Padawan because of course in the the I'm sorry, the original or sequel trilogy the prequel trilogy Ahsoka wasn't a thing at the time they brought it into Clone Wars in that time gap between episodes two and three so they made it made a lot of sense there's multiple years that pass so they made it all work, and Dave Filoni and George Lucas at the time, and then eventually Dave Filoni figured out a way to make Ahsoka fit around different things to avoid certain collisions with films that she wasn't, you know, created at the time for. So now we have the official bridge of getting Hayden Christensen, who played Anakin in the prequel trilogy, now interacting with live-action Ahsoka, officially bridging that gap that's always been kind of there because it was always not Hayden Christensen, as the voice of Anakin, of course, he didn't voice him in Clone Wars. He hasn't voiced him in animation. Maybe he has before, but I know that Clone Wars, no. So now, whew, oh, this is so good. The whole episode, even leading up to that, was great. Okay, that, that ending is just phenomenal, but leading up to it, because we don't really waste any time. We get right to the point of where Hera's showing up. Well, unfortunately, last minute, but she's coming She's got some backup. She shouldn't bring her son on this trip, by the way, because we're going to go try to stop people going after Thrawn. You would think, maybe I shouldn't bring my son, but whatever, Hera. I guess someone. Yeah, I guess you have to watch him because no one else really can, right? You, you don't know who to trust, right? You just never know. Because, you know, at the opening of the show, we had the two Sith-type characters or whatever working under Morgan, under Thrawn, went and attacked a ship, right? So her son could be in danger at any point. You just never know in the world of Star Wars. And you have Ahsoka and Sabine fighting through droids at the opening of the episode, and then there's the rematch, which was awesome, because Sabine was starting off with her blasters, then eventually going back to the lightsaber, and that was really cool, seeing that rematch between her and um, and uh, Balin Skull's Apprentice, uh, I forget what her name is. I keep forgetting what her name is. I apologize, but but I'm like, are we going to kill her off? And no, we're not because I feel like there's more to, to her, obviously, that we don't know about. Same thing with Valen. There's a lot of things too, like Ray Stevenson. First of all, rest in peace. Obviously, he's phenomenal in this show. I hate the fact that we won't see his character continue in any form of fat, form of fashion unless it's like animated, right? He, of course, he's voiced uh, different characters in animation, but the, the only way we could really see him in live action again. Uh, would be if they recast, which I don't. I really don't want them to, because Ray Stevenson, every single line of dialogue he said in this episode was so good. Um, we had Ahsoka fighting Af Merrick or whatever that guy's name, and there was a lot of rumors and theories of who this is under the mask. It doesn't matter. As soon as she killed him, the theories were pretty much out the door because it doesn't. It didn't really matter who he was. He wasn't like you know Kanan clone or an Ezra clone or all that. If that was true, then they wouldn't have killed off the character. Uh, like that because Ahsoka really didn't you know spend a lot of time fighting him and then he's he's lost but Sabine continues fighting her rematch <laughs> and Ahsoka goes off and then we've been building this up for quite some time because the way they were kind of setting up Balin is that okay we're gonna have this fight of course in the marketing we were seeing shots of the of, of their fight in the marketing and the trailers and stuff but when we got to the actual fight it was so good like there was some great action in this episode but it was like one of the best lightsaber fights that I've seen in quite some time is Balin versus Ahsoka. It was so good. And I love how the way they kind of established it, it was a slow build up, some dialogue back and forth. I love her line when Balin's mentioning, you know, Anakin spoke highly of you. She's like, I should, she's like, he never told me about you. And that kind of addresses the fact that we really don't know who this character is. We never really heard about Balin until this show. I don't, remember, I don't remember him ever being mentioned or referenced unless I missed something that was like a small little tiny thing somewhere else. But this is the first time we're actually really seeing this character. And so she's like, I've never heard of you. And just implying she just never heard of him. It's fine. Whatever. He's here now. That's as important. And then he keeps addressing stuff about Anakin. Da, 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 no one, and then I love the fact that, is that why you left him? Because of what he was going to become? Because he said 
few saw what he turned out to become, like or saw what he became in terms of Anakin becoming Vader, because not many Jedi are around to even see when he became Vader. Not many people saw that. And all this dialogue, and she's like, I'm not here to talk about that past. And then we get into the fight. It was so well choreographed. It was really well done. It was great. I kind of figured it was not going to end on a good note because we have to keep moving the plot forward, okay? We can't actually stop them from going to find Thrawn, which once again, even though the Hayden Christian and Tease at the end was amazing, I really wish we would have gotten a little more of a like an actual shot of Thrawn, which I'm now hoping is in episode 5 somewhere. <laughs> I don't know because I really need to see Thrawn. I hate the fact we're waiting. It is kind of frustrating. Um, but the fight was really good, and she actually grabbed the map and I said well I don't know why she didn't chop it in half it's because she's still trying to hold out hope because if I destroy the map which Balin does can't go after Ezra but now that the map's destroyed so I don't know how they're going to find them now I don't know because the map's destroyed and Sabine handed it over because Ahsoka grabbed it and it, it really hurt her hand really bad she can't really use it so that's why she got pushed off the cliff because she's only fighting with one hand, and Balin is a strong and aggressive fighter, but he's not dumb. He's not He's not just like swinging just to swing. He's meticulous, and he's very thoughtful about every single move he's making. And he's a he's a force to be reckoned with, just seeing how he was uh, how his character was fighting in this fight with Ahsoka. It was really, really good. So Ahsoka, unfortunately, lost that fight. So I'm not sure if she's dead, or I have no idea. <laughs> There's no real answer. We won't, we won't get that till the next episode. But Sabine hands over the map, which I, it's frustrating, but the thing is, is that Balin is so good, because see, that scene could have been cut in half in terms of his dialogue to her to hand over the map, but they played it out really long, but not to the point where it was too much, but it was enough to where she really was being played with in terms of, you know, I'm going to keep my word, you're not going to be harmed, I want the same thing as you, which is a complete lie. You, you're going to be reunited with your friend. I'm here for a greater good. I'm just Thrawn, seriously, that's a greater good. But yeah, it's it really worked on her. And of course, she's not going to be walking around free, so they, you know, put her in, you know, some sort of, like, cuffs or whatever. She even tries to use the Force at one point, um, which did not work. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately, but maybe that moment, maybe that motion, maybe would have awoken something at that point, but no. But yeah, they've went off and we see Hayden at the end which was amazing it was so good so there's a lot of things about okay so how much Hayden we're gonna see I hope we see a good amount and um I hope we see Thrawn that's all I'm asking I just want to see Thrawn in the next episode that's all I'm asking we'll see what happens but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the reaction this was really really cool I can't wait for the next episode hope you guys enjoyed the video talk to you guys soon peace out